at 5.54 p.m. on Friday, March 10, 1933, an earthquake shakes the Los Angeles area. The quake affects 75,000 square miles and kills 120. The quake was a surprise, but the government responds quickly such as immediately closing off gas lines to prevent fires. Within two hours, the Navy lands 2,000 sailors and Marines, followed by soldiers and the National Guard with supplies for rescue and relief work. At night, film studio lights help rescue workers. The Red Cross sets up makeshift housing for those in need. Take all the food you want, but don't take any more than is actually necessary. <laughs> Field kitchens feed over 80,000 a day. The devastation draws rubberneckers from miles around. Comic actor W.C. Fields releases footage from a film he's shooting at Paramount Pictures. Fields is seen here on the left. You saved my life. Now what can I do for you? Take us to Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai? Yeah. You... News outlets screen the clip widely, giving Fields comedy a publicity boost. 40 years later, it's revealed as a hoax. Scientists want to know the truth about earthquakes. For the first time, a series of new instruments called accelerographs have recorded the Earth's movement during the quake. Scientists now know there are multiple fault lines posing major earthquake threats. And much of America's west coast is vulnerable. Though there is still no scale to measure earthquakes, the readings also show this event was only moderate. Buildings in the Long Beach area crumbled because they were constructed poorly. On top of soft soil, and landfill. This revelation shapes strict new laws. Thanks to a better understanding of this destructive force, America is learning to prepare for earthquakes.